Uh, yes, uh, the Laredo International Airport is one of two in uh, in United States that have the what we call the dual customs inspection between Anam Mexico and CBP uh, United States. Uh, so what what that uh, will do for them uh, for the air cargo will be like you have your cargo inspected here uh, by Mexican Customs and uh, American Customs, and the custom uh, the cargo will go to to eight airports in Mexico City, and the cargo will be free to go as soon as it lands on any Mexican airport. So that brings a lot of advantage for the for the consumer because uh, they will save a lot of time. Yes, uh, the airport is continuing to invest in this uh, infrastructure. We currently have two, uh, uh, two companies coming here to develop parcels from the airport. Uh, so we have several, uh, several uh, companies interested here. So we're doing a cargo hub and also another FPO will be coming into Laredo soon. Yes, uh, the, the airport had a best uh, cargo year in, in weight landing here in Laredo. Uh, last year we had uh, 800 uh, million pounds landing here in Laredo. Uh, that's a 28% increase from previous year. That was, uh, we were the most increase percentage wise from the airports in the region. We're currently now at, uh, ranked at number 40 out of 140 reporting airports for cargo. And on the passenger side, uh, we also, we had a one of our best years at 11, uh, 100 and 10,000 passengers uh, being uh, flying out of Laredo. Um, we had an increase on flights from uh, United Airlines to Dal uh, Houston and uh, an increased flight from American Airlines uh, to Dallas also. That's just a testament of the things that we're doing here in Laredo. While other airports are struggling to keep the same amount of flights, we have one increased flight for United and one increased flight frequency for American Airlines here in Laredo. The airport, it's part of Port Laredo, which is, uh, which is several departments from the city of Laredo. We are in charge of promoting the, uh, our port, which is the number one inland port in Laredo, obviously, but uh, we, here at the airport, we continue to invest in our infrastructure, in our, uh, in our taxiways, our runways, our aprons, uh, in the last five years, we have invested $87 million on it to keep it up to par and to be in compliance with FAA regulations. Uh, the, the airport is the operator, the grantor for the foreign trade zone, which uh, it's a competitive advantage for all the, uh, for the industries like the automotive interest, uh, that they can send parts here and uh, work on that part and send it back to Mexico and, and so and for on. So uh, they cannot, they only pay taxes on the final product. So they will save money on that. And, uh, and we're currently, uh, we had a tremendous growth also on that. We're promoting that. Uh, year before we were 37 operators, we're now to 49 operators. <music>